Hello, in this video I'll be showing you how to quickly create a field of grass within 3ds Max. First thing to do is to create or download a base grass model that you'll be replicating over and over again onto a plane. I've downloaded this grass model from TurboSquid and I'll be linking the model page in the description below. So after you've got that need to come over and create a plane. This is the plane that all of your grass will be put onto and you can decide how dense and uh, the size of the grass at a later date. So make sure you've got your segment set to 1. Scale doesn't really matter, keep that at 1. The next thing to add is a Corona Scatter. This is exclusive to the Corona renderer, which you should all be familiar with from my first video. Now with the Scatter, you need to select the plane as the Distribute on Objects. And then for the Instance Objects, we pick the Grass. You can see all these boxes appear. It's just with the default settings. If a wire box, I can change that to full, and that will show you all of the bits of grass that have been put onto the plane. You can up the amount displayed, and also up the count to get more dense. So you see, it gets more dense. But they are defaulting to the middle. So the ax this middle axis is in the middle of the piece of grass. So what you want to do is get the translation. You just want to bring them up so they're about right. So it's about about 4.5 millimeters for this piece of grass. So that's pretty perfect. Next thing you want to do for this is add a bit of randomness. So you change the scale, change it from maybe fifty percent to hundred. It's still looking all right. And then finally, maybe a bit of rotation, just to give a bit of randomization to this so it's not all so uniform. You can see if I up the count a lot more, you get a lot of grass in a field. Please be aware this does greatly increase your poly count and will slow down your machine. So I recommend while you're in this mode, before you render, you set it to dot. Oh, that's not showing correctly, but wire box or even none, so then it won't affect your performance until you render. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions please comment below or any suggestions for next tutorials. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.